Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Colin and today we're going to start our DC Deck Building Rebirth board game. We'll go ahead and get started and we'll have our first player be The Flash. There are a total of six steps in a turn sequence. The first step is of course looking if there's any start of turn steps or any start of turn effects. There aren't any, so we'll move on to step two. Villains that are at their destination or sharing a space with the active player's character attacks only the active player, resolving them in any order of your choosing. We don't have any villains on the board. Step three is villains not sharing a space with a character move one space towards their destination by the shortest path. Don't have any villains, we don't have to worry about that. Step four, we get to add the top card of the main deck to the lineup slot with the fewest cards. If there's a tie, the lowest slot number wins the tie. Right now, since we have one card in each slot space, we'll draw this card and we have a super breath and this will be placed in slot one. So think of this as the line in slot one, line in slot two, line in slot three, four, and five. So this one now has two cards that we could potentially purchase. Step five and six are essentially playing the cards in your hand, totaling up your movement and you can move across the board. So for the flash, we start with an automatic two movement Plus, we have our two runs here. So that's two, four, six movement. I'm going to use my ability to pay five of that six movement, and I'm going to draw a card. So I'll draw this. Awesome. I have another power. So I have one movement left. I have one, two, three, four total power. I almost forgot I wanted to show you the ongoing ability of the threat track. Each time a supervillain enters play in the lineup, increase the threat level by one, and it makes an attack against each player then we'll push this up to one and this is ongoing so that continues even as the threat track increases but we're still at zero for now movement is quite powerful for the flash so i think what we're going to do is we're going to have him enter over here at the bat cave i believe that is yes that's the bat cave and we're going to spend three out of our four power to buy this bat cycle now this card will go into our discard pile we'll shuffle it up when we have gone through our deck and we will uh, then start being able to use it. Now after that, I could move if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna stay right here. I don't think there's a need to move right now. We'll take our cards that we use, plus the card that we purchased, put that into the discard pile. We have our deck here. We will draw it up. We only have four because I did use an extra card, so I will shuffle, and we'll draw another punch for our fifth card. We'll now move to Batman. Batman first, we'll flip this card over. We have a Wonder Woman shield, ongoing defense. Discard this from play or discard a card with a cost one or greater from your hand to avoid an attack. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Since the first slot now has two cards, this will go here in the second slot. Now, I don't see anything specific in the rules about ongoing, but I'm pretty sure cards that say ongoing, you'll put them out on the table. They'll be out until you use them because they say that you can... They have an ongoing ability, and then they have a defense ability that says discard this from play to um, uh, not be a, to avoid an attack. So I would say that you play them out and they stay out in front of you, and then you'll discard it when you activate it, I think. Batman has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 power. This helping hand, remember he can target himself, so he'll go ahead and target himself. He has 5 power. Batman is all about defense or attack, so I think we're going to put him over here for shields up. He's going to purchase this, cost 5, plus 2 power, but then if you use it as a defense, discard this to have any number of characters within range 1, avoid an attack, and draw a card. Nice. We have discarded, and here is our new hand. We'll move to Wonder Woman's turn. We will flip this over. Ah, we have our first villain. This is Bane. So, it has an attack ability where if you are in his space at the beginning of your turn, you will get attacked by this villain. There is a reward if you defeat him. Target player puts a hero from their discard pile into their hand. Nice. And he takes six to defeat. He is trying to move towards a location one. We always look to find where there's the empty space, and that's actually right where Batman is. So Bane's going to be here. Now, he will not attack Batman until it's Batman's turn. The other nice thing is, is Batman is holding him there. So during everybody's turn... All villains are going to try and move to their destination. His destination is one, which is way up here. But any character that's in the same space as a villain prevents that villain from moving. That does mean, though, that poor uh, Batman will be attacked 
during uh, the beginning of his turn. But you know what? He doesn't have a hero in his hand, so that's actually not even going to hurt him. For this turn, Wonder Woman and the Flash are going to work together. What we're going to do is we're going to put Wonder Woman into Flash's space to begin with, okay? And then uh, Flash is going to play Helping Hand. Assist range zero, and that's because they're in the same space. He can do that, plus one power, and then target player may move their character one space, and he's going to allow Wonder Woman to move one space. But so she has one power from that, two, three, four, five, and two movement. Now, when Flash plays this card, he does not replenish his hand. So you'll see on his next turn, he'll have one less card. So Wonder Woman will come in at the Bat Cave. She gets one free movement because of the helping hand. And then she has two movement. So she's going to move over here so she can purchase her hero card, Wonder Woman. Because it's an assist, it gives plus two power. And she wants to be able to make, uh, make it easier to get assist cards because that's all about her ability. She has now discarded and then drawn her next set of five cards. Now we're back to Flash's turn. And the first thing is the villains would be trying to get to their destinations. But thanks to Batman, Bane is not moving. So that's good. So we will just flip this card. Oh, we've got another villain. And this is going to come out on Wonder Woman's space. And this will uh, be an attack, discard a superpower. So if she doesn't have any superpowers in her hand, which she doesn't, that won't affect her right now. If you defeat her, a target player puts a superpower from their discard pile into their hand. Poison Ivy will show up right here with Wonder Woman. Flash doesn't have anything great. He does have four movement, but he only has three power. So I actually think because these bat cycles are so good for him with the power or movement, he's just going to go ahead and purchase another one of those. Now he could move. Hmm. I just... I don't think we need to move yet. Yeah, I think we're just going to stay where we are, and that's all we're going to do. We drew up our next hand, and look at this. We've got some nice movement, or we can have two, three, four power. Yeah, that, that's starting to look pretty good. Moving to Batman's turn, the first thing we need to do is look to see if there's any villains that are not sharing spaces with the character. Both of the villains are in locations with characters, so nothing will happen. Bane will, though, attack uh, Batman. Although he has to discard a hero, he doesn't have any heroes in his hand, so nothing happens. We'll go ahead and draw another card, and we have Bolt of Zeus. Oh, it's an assist, range two, plus one power, and draw a card. That would be amazing for Wonder Woman. <laughs> so that's actually going to go into Batman's space. We'll place it right here, and now anybody can purchase that, which is nice. Batman has a wonderful six move, two four, six, and two whopping power. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. So we're going to do a little bit of finagling here. We're going to use one of our movement to move here into the daily planet. Then we're going to discard this run card because we don't need that many run cards. And that's going to allow us to reveal the top of our deck. And then we can discard it. So this is the top card of our deck. It's a helping hand. Oh. No, I think I'm going to keep that on my deck because that might help us actually defeat one of these villains. Oh, man, I was hoping I could actually do something here. Okay, uh, so then we still have enough movement that we can take one step back over to this villain just to keep him from moving. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's all we're going to do. We drew back up, and look at this. We've got our helping hand, and we've got our plus two power here, so that will be really nice. We're on to Wonder Woman's turn, and this car will go into her space as well. And we have Aquaman. Plus one power, you may put a superpower with cost four or less from your discard pile into your hand. We'll place Aquaman right here. Now, I should have said Poison Ivy should have attacked Wonder Woman first, but she makes her discard a superpower. She, it's only her second turn. She has no superpowers in her hand, so I kind of skipped over that. But Poison Ivy will not move, and Bane will not move because Batman is still there. Wonder Woman only has three power, but a total of four movement. Wonder Woman will move two spaces, one, two. Batman will then play his helping hand to give her plus one. That's going to allow her to buy the Bolt of Zeus. I know I'm buying all these things that aren't defeating enemies, but you got to build up your power. Otherwise, getting six total money at one point is not easy. Wonder Woman will end her turn by drawing up. Look at this. She got her hero card now. That's plus two power at a range of one, which is awesome. She'll definitely be able to help someone do something, I think. 
Moving to the Flash's turn, first thing that's going to happen is now Poison Ivy has no character holding her back. She's trying to get to location two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. She could go either way. We're going to have her move to here. That does mean now the next card is going to come out here next to Aquaman. So we will draw this card. And we have a jet pack. Nice. Oh, that's a fun card, you guys. You can use it to move, and then you'll drop it in your space so someone else can pick it up. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's see what the Flash can do. So he has a total of one, two, three, four potential uh, uh, power, which still isn't enough to take out any of the villains. Man. Or he could use, well, he's got two move here, three, four, five. Ooh, to draw a card. Okay. So he's used five movement, two, and one of that movement. So he has at least one movement left. He's going to draw this card. That's plus one power. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That is five. That would mean Wonder Woman could help him to take out one of these villains. This is going to work, you guys. We're going to have Flash use his final movement to move here. Wonder Woman is then going to use her hero. Range one. He's actually within range zero, but range one right now. Plus two power. And then you may put an assist card from your discard pile on top of your deck. So the Flash will put Helping Hand on top of his deck, which is nice. And what this means is he had five power before. Now he has seven. So he'll take out Bane. This means that the target player can put a hero from their discard pile into their hand. Too bad the Flash has no heroes in his discard pile. So he lost that ability. But what's nice is the villain is gone. We've completed Flash's turn, and here is his hand for the next round. Moving now to Batman's turn, first thing that's going to happen is Poison Ivy is going to move here. Now they attack first, and then they move. So Poison Ivy won't attack, but technically, even if she did, he doesn't have a superpower in his hand. <laughs> then we'll draw the top card of the main deck, and we have another villain. And this is another attack. Shuffle each card with cost zero from your discard pile into your hand. That's the Psycho Pirate. Ooh. And two of them in the exact same location, both trying to go to location two. Batman actually has one, two, three, four, five power in his hand. So I think he is just going to attack the Psycho Pirate right now to take him out. The reward is each player reveals the top card of their deck. You may discard any number of cards uh, revealed this way. And don't forget Batman's ability. Each time you avoid an attack or defeat a villain, so we just defeated a villain, Target player reveals the top card of their deck, and they may destroy it. So I think I'm going to start with having that be Batman himself. So we'll reveal the top card. Perfect. It's a punch card. Gone. See ya. Here are our decks. This is Batman's top card. He's just going to discard the punch. Here is Wonder Woman's card. She's got a run. She'll discard the run. And the Flash has a punch, so that will be discarded. They're all going to be discarded. Here we have Batman's hand for next turn. The big thing to note is he does have an assist if need be. We're now back to Wonder Woman. We have Poison Ivy in our location. That's the only uh, villain, and they're not going to move. Ooh, Heat Vision. This is a great card. Target player may destroy a card in their discard pile. That is amazing, and it's a plus two power. Just to make sure it makes sense to you guys why I'm putting cards where they are. So you always look for the lowest amount of cards in a line lineup slot. This one only has one, and this one only has one. So then you always do the lowest number. This is between three and four, so this is number three. This is between five and one, so this is five. So this will go in the same location as all of our heroes. Cool. Wonder Woman only has a total of three power, but both Batman and the Flash have helping hands, and this card is so good, they want to help her out. They're going to let her get Heat Vision. <laughs> helping her grab it. That is awesome. And she still has two move. I think I'm going to go ahead and move just one over. I don't want to get too far away so I can still potentially assist. But now I've got a superpower or a, yeah, a superpower in my, uh, in my deck. And Poison Ivy, if not killed, will actually make me discard one of those. So yeah, I just wanted to get out of that spot. Here we have Wonder Woman's new hand. And look at this, two assist cards. One within range two and one with range zero. Now it's the Flash's turn. Poison Ivy attacks him. He doesn't have any superpowers in his hand, so it doesn't matter. This card is going to go into his location, and we have the Black Canary. 
Oh, look at this. Assist, range two, a move one, and plus one power. So my hand is pretty terrible. <laughs> look at this. Six movement, eight movement, nine total of ten movement, actually, if I wanted to. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it as ten movement, and I'm going to pay five move twice to have a target player draw a card. And I'm going to have Batman draw a card, two of them. So this is Batman's first one, plus one power. Maybe he can power himself up to be able to beat Poison Ivy. And, ooh, a helping hand. Nice. Okay, but that means that's all the Flash is doing. And look at that hand he just drew. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. A total of five power, just with punches. Batman is now being attacked by Poison Ivy, but he also does not have a superpower. So now we'll reveal this card. This is going to go into slot five to six. Oh, we have a villain. Okay, so this has attack. Put a card with a cost two, three, or four from your discard pile into your space. Oh, you lose it. Oh, man, it's the cheetah. I've not seen this villain before. Target player gains a card with a cost four or less in their space and puts it in their hand. That reward is awesome. We're going to put the cheetah way up here. She's trying to get to location three, which is down here. So we just got to make sure that we intercept her at some point. Well, this hand is pretty terrible. Look at this. One, two, three moves. So we have six total movement, but only one, two, three total power. But that's why we have a team. <laughs> Wonder Woman is going to help us out here. The first thing Wonder Woman is going to do is play Bolt of Zeus. Now it's assist range two. We're within range two, so we get plus one power and we get to draw a card. So we will have oh, a superpower plus two. Oh my gosh. So our total power now is two, three, four, five. Oh, we're still not there. We're close, though. Actually, let me count this again. Two, three, four, five. And then this has plus one, so that's six. That's actually enough to defeat Poison Ivy right now. So then we can say uh, we have target player puts a superpower from their discard pile into their hand. We don't have any, which is a bummer. But at least we got rid of Poison Ivy. With defeating a villain, we'll go ahead and target ourselves again to see if we can destroy the top card of our deck. Yes, there goes two punches down the drain. I like it. We'll draw up our hand. We've got two punches. I'll have to shuffle. And we'll draw three more. Nice. We do have a helping hand if we need it. Moving to Wonder Woman's turn. First thing is this cheetah will move here. She's going to move either way, but this way at least she'll run into our villains. Then we'll go ahead and reveal this card. And we have another villain, Major Disaster. Uh, you may only play one move card from your hand during your turn when he attacks. He will come here right where uh, Batman and the Flash are. We have a pretty basic hand here for Wonder Woman. We have four power. You know what we're missing? Move cards. <laughs> and no one has any assist cards that have moves on them. So I guess what we're going to do is buy a Bat Cycle. That will give us some move two and or two power if we'd prefer. So we've discarded our hand, and we will draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, now we get all the movement, but at least we do have our Wonder Woman card. Moving to Flash's turn, the first thing that's going to happen is Cheetah is going to move here. And we have Major Disaster attacking Flash, so that means he can only play one move card during his turn. That's not terrible. Now, this space now has three cards. There's only one space that has one card way up here. So that's going to be the space this card will be placed. And we have Simon Baz. Cool. A nice hero. We'll put him up there. You may recall the Flash had just five basic power. <laughs> well, that is just enough to defeat the major disaster. So we have target player draws a card, then places their character on any space. So we'll draw our card. Oh, we have a move two or plus two power. You know, I don't think I'm going to move anywhere, but what I am going to do is I'm going to purchase the card that's sitting here, the Black Gambit, because you know what? It's another assist, giving movement and power. I like it. We'll go ahead and draw our hand. Oh, yes, we've got her because we had to shuffle. Uh, so that's a nice assist, and we have helping hand assist. Moving to Batman's turn, Cheetah will go ahead and move here to the Daily Planet, and we'll reveal the top card of the deck, and we have the Blue Beetle. Ooh, nice. Plus two power. He costs five, and he has a defense ability. Ooh. Batman has a total power of one, two, three, four with two movement. He'll go ahead and spend one movement to move here so that then we can have Wonder Woman 
play her helping hand card, which will give him one more total power of five. He'll then use his second movement to move here, and he's going to purchase this blue beetle. This will be good for his deck. Batman has discarded and now drawn, and he does have his awesome shields up superpower. Nice. First thing that will happen is the Cheetah will move into the space with Batman and the Flash. Then we'll draw a card, and we've got the Cyborg, which will be placed here as well. Wonder Woman does not have the best hand in the world. She has a total of three power and four movement, but I do think she's going to go and get herself a flight card. And with her hero card, she's going to go ahead and put this helping hand back on top of her deck, which hopefully will help them take out the Cheetah. She'll spend two of her four movement to move here, grab the flight card for three, and move two back over to here. Here's what she drew. She has one assist. I was hoping she'd have more, but I think all of it's in her discard pile. Moving to the Flash's turn, the first thing that's going to happen is Cheetah is going to attack him. Now, what she does to him is put a card with a cost two, three, or four from your discard pile onto your space. That's terrible. But he has no discard pile. <laughs> and actually, Batman, who's in this space, also has no discard pile. So that actually worked out well. Wonder Woman has a discard pile, but she is not in that location. <laughs> so we will just draw from the top of the deck here, and we have a villain. Destroy a non-villain card in your space. That's when um, the Eradicator attacks. There are now two cards in every location, so we'll put the Eradicator here at the top for the third one. He is going to the fourth location down here. He has one, two, three, four. That's it, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, but he does have two movement plus two movement plus one. That will give him enough movement to use his ability to draw a card. So uh, let's see what we get. We get plus one. So it's one, two, three, four, five power. Oh, that's still not enough. We need six. We, of course, have Wonder Woman, and she has helping hand in her hand to help out. But the problem is she is one space away from where the Flash is. So he can't, he can't get any help from her. So I think with that, he's just going to stay where he's at. Oh, yeah, I think he's going to have to. He's well. Let me let me think. Because actually, maybe I can move him and use this total power. What, oh no, I can't move him. I, if I could move him, I could get the um, the assist from Wonder Woman. So he's just gonna purchase the cyborg card. It gives him plus one power. It's not great, but could be worse. And we'll discard this. We'll draw up one, two, three, four, five. Come on, have an assist. Have an assist. No, absolutely no assist cards. <laughs> The Cheetah is now going to attack Batman because it's Batman's turn, but he has nothing in his discard pile. But we do have the Bat Computer, plus two power uh, for each time you attack this turn, draw a card. Oh, that's nice. We'll put that in their space as well. I did almost forget the Eradicator is going to take one step closer to his location as well. So remember, he's going towards location four. If only the Flash had an assist card, but no. <laughs> Batman has one, two, three, four. He can get one from Wonder Woman by going into her space because he's got enough movement, but that's still only five. We need six. <laughs> Where's the six? So with the one, two, three, four, or one, one, two, three, four. Oh, he only has four. Yeah, so I think he is going to do, ah, uh, but no, I, I think we need to keep the assist from Wonder Woman. No, it's her turn next. Well, I think we are going to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to spend one of our moves to move here so that Wonder Woman can play her helping hand. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five power. We can move back to here and then purchase this bat computer because that works pretty well with Batman. And I've got to say, I think that was totally worth it. And you're going to see why. He picked up the blue beetle and the helping hand. Awesome. That's going to help the Flash. It is now Wonder Woman's turn and the Eradicator. Ugh. He's going to be moving one step away from her. We'll go ahead and draw the top card of this. And we have a heat vision. Plus two power target player may destroy a card in their discard pile. Awesome. That's going to go in Batman and the Flash's location. Wonder Woman has one, two, three, four total power and two movement. Or we could have only two power and four movement. 
I think we'll stay right where we are and use that power to go ahead and buy another bat cycle. That'll just give us even some more power. I mean, I wish it was assist, but with only two movement, there isn't a ton that we can do right now. This will help us with our movement. We'll go ahead and draw our five cards. Oh, look at this. Heat vision, bolt of Zeus. Yeah, we are set to go. Before we do any card reveals, Cheetah will attack the Flash. The Flash has cards in his hand, and the Eradicator is going to move into Wonder Woman space. Before the Flash gets attacked by the Cheetah, we are going to reveal the Blue Beetle. It has a defense ability. Once per attack, you may reveal this to have a target character within range 1, avoid that attack, and get plus 1 power. So the Flash now has 1 automatic power. Now if I read this, each time you avoid an attack or defeat a villain, you may have a target player reveal the top card of their deck and they can destroy him. We're going to go ahead and do that for the Flash. So we're going to reveal that top card. Oh, it's a bad cycle. No, I want him to keep that, so we won't destroy that. Bummer! But we do already have plus one power. We are now going to reveal the top card we have here, and we have a super suit. That will go in lineup slot one. Moving to Flash's turn, I already have one power thanks to Batman. And that's two, three, four, five. I literally need one more, but I think we can have, yes, the Bolt of Zeus thanks to Wonder Woman. Range two, she's within range one. We give the Flash plus one power, and he gets to draw a card, which means he will have that bat cycle that we saw. That's awesome. So he has one power, two power from his friends, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total power. And you know, as much as I wanted to take the cheetah out, this is actually interesting. The Eradicator's right here. So I think instead I'm gonna use one of my move to move here and take out the Eradicator because that was seven. Now what we can do is we can gain a non-villain card within range one for free. We can just gain one. And I think we're going to take this Heat Vision because that's going to help uh, thin our deck and it gives us plus two power. <laughs> oh, that's that was awesome. So that was a great co-op moment right there. We had one card left in our deck, so we'll go ahead and draw that. Oh, now that's a punch. And here's four more. Oh, look at that. All basics. Yeah, That's why I wanted to get that card so we can get rid of some of those. Moving to Batman, there's only one villain that's out and it's in our space. Cheetah is going to attack us, but we can reveal the blue beetle. We can block that attack or uh, defend from that attack and we gain plus one power. And then because of our ability, we'll let Wonder Woman look at the top card of her deck. Punch. Perfect. Sia will let her KO that or destroy it. <laughs> KO it. That's Marvel. Sorry about that. We'll go ahead and flip the top card here, and we have Speed Force. Move four. Once during your turn, draw a card for each villain in your space. Oh, cool. That will go in the location where Batman is. For Batman's turn, look at this. We started off with plus one power because of this. Then, and that's only a reveal. Yeah, so plus one, two, three, four, five, six. This cheetah didn't even see it coming. <laughs> now, the target player gains a card with a cost four or less from that space. Nah, there isn't one. The only one is that superpower that we just got that cost six. So that's useless. But at least we took out the cheetah. That does mean we get to use our ability. So let's go ahead and use uh, try flash this time. Oh, he's got the black canary. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that. It's, it's a too good of an assist card. There are finally no villains on the board. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to Wonder Woman. And, oh, our first super villain, Lex Luthor. Now, this card is going to attack everyone, not just the active player. So we all have to discard two assist cards. Oh, Well, who would have thunk it? Looking at these hands, we don't have any assist cards. <laughs> okay, this does not normally happen, you guys. Normally, when the villains attack you, they do stuff to you. I have gotten so lucky that all villains have been essentially negated. This is kind of insane. Uh, but we are going to place this in Batman's location and the threat track is going to go up by one. We'll place Lex Luthor here. He's trying to get to location five. Location four is just right here. So he's actually quite close. And now we move this threat track up to one and it says during step four of the turn sequence, if there are no supervillains in the lineup, add an additional card to the lineup. So that's how the game's going to speed up a little bit. Now we're going to be placing out two cards or only one 
if there is a super villain out. Well, you guys, I was so excited that I had this heat vision here, but then I had the Batman let her draw the top card of her deck and KO it or destroy it. That was great. But that meant she had to shuffle up her discard pile. And now she doesn't have a discard pile. So this is where if I was playing with multiple players, I probably would have been like, hey, don't choose me. Uh, so that was my own fault. Sorry about that. So we're just going to not get the ability of this, which is a bummer. But this is two power. So two, three, four, five. We have five power. You know what Lex Luthor is? Ten. Are we at ten? No. <laughs> and you know what else we don't have? We don't have any movement in our hand. So with our five power, I think, wow, we're just going to keep buying. We're going to purchase the last bat cycle, okay? There aren't any more bat cycles in there, and that's all we can do. We'll go ahead and draw our five, and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, here's our move. Okay. Now it's the Flash's turn, and here's the thing. Lex Luthor won't move. Batman's there, and he does not attack now because he's now just like basically a regular villain. And so he'll do the same thing that regular villains do. Attack you if you're on that space and it's your active turn. Okay, uh, the Flash gets holographic computing. Uh, this will go in slot two. All we have this turn is five power. We at least have two move from our card. So I think we'll go ahead and purchase something. We'll take a move of one to move here and we'll buy Dr. Fate. Then we'll go ahead and draw a new hand. And let's see. Okay, that is a nice hand. That's way better than our last one. We're now on to Batman's turn. He's going to get attacked by Lex Luthor, but he's going to reveal the Blue Beetle again because he has that in his hand. That's going to prevent the attack, and that'll give him plus one power. He's then also going to have, oh, who should it be? The Flash? Now, you know what? We're going to do ourselves this time. We're going to look at the top card of our deck. Sweet. It's a punch. Kill it. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Now we're going to reveal the top card. Here we have the grappling hook. That will also go into location two. So we already have plus one power. We will then have plus two from this blue beetle. So that's one, two, three. That's four. This is five. Wonder Woman is then going to play the Bolt of Zeus. That will give us six. And then we get to draw a card. Come on, come on. <gasps> yes, that is plus two. That's seven, eight. Eight. Then what we're going to do is have Wonder Woman play this assist, uh, her Wonder Woman assist, which is plus two. That's a total of 10, you guys. That is 10. Uh, and Wonder Woman can use her ability now, and she can target herself to draw a card, so she'll draw Flight into her hand. So that way she's got four cards in her hand now instead of five, because she did play two assist cards. But that 10 damage is going to defeat Lex Luthor. Target player puts an assist card from their discard pile back into their hand. <laughs> that doesn't help. We don't have any cards in our discard pile. But the big thing is we've gotten rid of one of the supervillains. We'll go ahead and end our turn. We'll draw four. Now I have to shuffle our discard pile and draw our fifth card. Perfect. 